This is Valley News Live at noon. We're following some breaking news for you today out of Moorhead. Moorhead police are looking for a man after a woman says she shot at a house early this morning. Police say the shooting happened in the 400 block of 7th Street South. The woman says her daughter was letting her dogs out in the backyard just before 5 this morning when a man approached her from the sidewalk and asked if he could come inside. The woman's daughter told the man no and he hurried back in. The woman says she is when she fired man fired three shots toward the house, shattering a window. Police picked up two shell casings in the street and the woman says this was a random attack. Now it is unclear if police have identified or arrested the man involved, but they do say the suspect is a black male between five foot six inches and six foot tall, wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt with the hood up. Stick with Valley News Live as we continue to cover this breaking story. Now this isn't the only shooting currently under investigation in Moorhead. We're continuing to follow for you the shots fired that call, happened near an apartment complex in the 2400 block of 4th Avenue North on Sunday. The Borough of Criminal Apprehension has taken over that investigation. Police tell us an officer was investigating a suspicious person when a foot chase started and shots were fired. The only thing police have said is that they have a suspect in custody and they're referring all other questions to the BCA who aren't releasing information yet. Well, the weather is pretty nice on this Wednesday afternoon. I mean, look at that sky cam. It's pretty much gorgeous. Let's check in with Summer Snubbock to see what we should expect the rest of the day. Hey, Summer, happy Wednesday. Good afternoon, Brian, and good afternoon, everyone. We have just a bit of cloud cover lingering across the valley heading into our lunchtime hour. Uh, clouds will continue to break up, though, as we continue through the rest of our afternoon. One concern we have today is the lingering wildfire smoke and haze from those wildfires that are burning up in Canada to the northeast of Winnipeg. Here's the latest camera view from Western Dickey County along North Dakota Highway 11, and you can see the haze is still lingering in the sky. Here's a look at the air quality index shaded in orange for portions of Logan, McIntosh, Dickey, and and Lemoore counties and still shaded in some yellow for portions of Sargent, Ransom and up through Barnes County. Cask County is uh, in the green for today, as is the majority of Richland County. And here's what those colors mean. The yellow indicates moderate air quality, meaning a small number of unusually sensitive individuals may want to spend some more time inside today. And orange indicates that the air quality is unhealthy for some, especially those with heart and lung disease, older adults and children. They should also limit time outside for today. The wildfire smoke forecast is for it to uh, diminish slightly but not disappear entirely for today. Brian, coming up, I'll let you know when we see a little bit more sunshine across the entire valley and when temperatures warm out of these 60s and 70s. It's crazy how fast the weather changed. We were just talking about how it was pouring down raining yesterday and today <laughs> it's nice. Keeps my job interesting. <laughs> Sounds good, Summer. <laughs> Well, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis held a briefing about tropical storm Elsa. He said the storm track wobbled slightly, which has been some for good for some more populous areas of the state. But he warns residents to be careful as they start clearing debris after the storm passes. He also says he felt the state was fortunate, but very well prepared. All things considered, where we looked at 72 hours ago, I think the impacts have been less than, than what we thought would be reasonable. So we're fortunate. We saw a little bit of a wobble to the west uh, when it was approaching Tampa Bay, which potentially minimized impacts there. The governor says he will continue to monitor the storm as flooding might still be a concern for an already saturated northern Florida. Well, rescue efforts are still underway in Surfside, Florida, despite a brief pause due to heavy rain, high winds, and lightning from Elsa. A fire official just said crews have recovered 10 more bodies, bringing the confirmed death toll to 46. About 100 people are still unaccounted for. Manu Manuel Bojordes reports from Surfside. Sifting through a mountain of concrete, steel, and debris, Rescue crews continue the round-the-clock search for survivors, but good news is in short supply. And the key things we're looking for uh, all throughout in regards to voice space, livable spaces, you know, we're not coming across that. Still, leaders insist they are not giving up hope. It's hard to imagine this was once a 12-story condo building, but it's the little things, like that cushion right there that was once part of a sofa or patio furniture that remind you of the lives lost. 
A few blocks away, four of those lost were laid to rest. The Guada family, Marcus, Anna, and their 10 and 4-year-old daughters, Lucia and Emma. Friends say they were an incredibly close and loving family. Symbolically, the two young sisters were placed together in the same white casket adorned with ribbons. With the cause of the Champlain Tower South collapse still unknown, Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett says there are significant concerns about the virtually identical sister building, Champlain Towers North. And in nearby Sunny Isles, nearly 60 commercial and residential buildings built before 1982 are set for inspection. That era had a lot of people who were laundering money, who were looking to bury cash somewhere, and took a lot of shortcuts. Florida State Senator Jason Pizzo represents Surfside and Sunny Isles. He's pressing for legislation to make building records more transparent and available, and wants greater oversight of condo boards and associations which make decisions about building repairs. We live in the ultimate, you know, buy and flip uh, region. Very little legacy interest in Miami, and that's the biggest concern. It takes a mass tragedy because this allows people that would otherwise look the other way to say, no, you can't, you can't escape this one. You're not getting away with this one uh, and, and something has to change. The cause of the Champlain Tower South collapse remains under investigation. And though several lawsuits are working their way through the court system right now, it is unclear which parties, if any, bear responsibility. Well, former President Donald Trump today announced that he's suing big tech companies, including Facebook, Google and Twitter. Trump says he's leading the class action lawsuit against the social media giants because of bans imposed on him and other Americans. The former president said the suspension of his social media accounts amounts to an infringement on the First Amendment's guaranteed that speech won't be curtailed by the government. Trump also said he's seeking punitive damages. While summer continues and we head out to the lake, how would you like to add skiing to your list of fun activities? The North Stars Water Ski Show team will put on this fun get on the water event from now until July 10th. I even got the chance to go out there. You can see me right now. And the good news, I lasted for two minutes. It was like I'm struggling, but I promise it was a struggle at first. Now, last year, 18 students signed up, but already this year, the number has skyrocketed to 40. You will take those water skis and head to either the Big Pine Lake in Purim or to Burgess City Beach in Burgess. Now, anyone from all ages and abilities are welcome to join with the event being free for all. Now, today, Thursday and Friday sessions have been booked, but there are openings for Saturday. The sessions start at 9 and ways to sign up can be found on our website, valleynewslive.com. Well, experts say there is an alarming trend when it comes to reported RSV cases. What you need to know is coming up on Valley News Live at noon. And you got plans but don't know what to expect with weather. Maybe you want to also go out in the back of the boat like I did. Summer Snowball has you covered with weather up next.